everyone. So this video is going to be about my crazy cycle. Um, I'm on the birth control pill and have been since I had Ella. I was on a low um, birth control pill. Let me turn this down just a little bit. Ella's watching the aristocrats before she goes to bed. So anyways, but I was on like the low dose birth control pill when I was breastfeeding Ella and then when I got, when I stopped breastfeeding I went on the um, orthotricycline. Well, orthotricycline made me really sick. So um, I went on orthotricycline low and I've been doing really well on that. I'm taking it just fine and you know, my period comes when it's supposed to and um, I don't have any symptoms really with that birth control pill. If I take two like at one time, I'll get sick and have like nausea, but that's just normal for me because I get nauseous at like the temp of a hat, you know, so. Anyways, but I lost from June until now, I've lost like eight pounds and I've lost that fairly quickly. And I think this is the reason my cycles have become crazy. So in July, my period came like a week early, which is just really unusual for me. Um, I am usually always like, you know, when I hit the green pills, like that Monday or Tuesday is when I usually get my period. And you know, I've been regular like that for a couple months now actually, because before when I was working night shift, um, I was taking the pills all crazy and missing pills and my periods and cycles, yeah, everything was just really messed up because I wasn't taking my pills like I was supposed to and thank goodness I didn't get pregnant at that time because I wasn't really ready for that at that moment. Um, so since getting my new job about, well it's not really new anymore, about a year ago now, um, I have been doing well on my pills, taking them every night at the same time. I take them around like, you know, 10, 11 o'clock. So anyways, but last month was a little unusual and I got my period a week early. I hadn't even gotten my green pills yet. I had just started the dark blue ones, I think it is, or either the light blue, I can't remember, it's blue. Um, so I had started those and I was getting a period and my period lasted for about 10 days and it was ridiculous. And so um, now it's August and I'm like, well, maybe I'll go back to my normal cycle, my normal 28 day birth control scheduled cycle, birth control pill set scheduled cycle. Um, but it didn't happen. Um, or at least I don't think it's going to because I'm having PMS symptoms right now, like the really emotional crying and, um, and whatnot. My husband had mentioned about a car accident that happened and the driver died or it was a motorcycle accident and the kid was like 19 and he died and I just like started bawling in the car. I don't usually do that. I mean I get sad but I feel sorry for them but I don't really usually bawl in the car. Like that's usually something I do right from a period. They get really emotional, really grumpy, really moody, really up and down mood swings. Um so this is just a little crazy for me and um, I think what worries me a lot is that I'm going to have to get my cycles on like a regular more schedule um, before we start to try. I mean, we're, we're still we're still planning to try um, at the end of September and I know I said that, you know, the pre-TTC video was going to be the last video about pre-TTC, but I thought I'd just, you know, um, tell you guys about what's going on and um, we're still going to try in the end of September, but I really highly doubt that I'll get pregnant because, uh, more highly doubtful now, because um, my cycles right now are just um, totally off. You know, there's um, getting my period the third week now instead of the fourth week, fourth week of the pills. Um, so, anyways, but that's just a little, little blurb about what's been going on with my cycles and um, I still plan on getting like, you know, the ovulation prediction tests and the pregnancy tests and all that next month just so that I can prepare and, and whatnot, but, um, I would just like to be pregnant before December, that would be my goal, <laughs> but when it happens, it happens, I think, but, um, I just need to probably get my cycles regular, so, um, in trying to do that, I will probably, um, cut some of the workouts I've been doing out and I probably won't try to lose any more weight 
I'm 111 right now and I want it to be 110. If I lose one more pound, I'll be happy, but I'm not gonna like keep doing the workouts that I'm doing because it's just, I think it's just too much on me and my body. I walk two miles a day and I do active two for like an hour when I come home. So, and you know, I only eat 1200 calories, which you know, it's just supposed to eat when you're dieting and really all the time. So, I um, have decided to cut down a little bit on the walks and cut down a little bit on the um, exercising and just try to stay at one steady rate or steady weight. Sorry, can't talk tonight. One steady weight so that um, I can get my cycles back on track and start regulating things, especially when I go off the pill. That's going to be kind of a shock to my body, too. Um, it took us six months, six or seven months last time when I got off the pill with aloe. Of course, um, if you want to know a little more about that with my TTC story with her, um, I do have a video on here. If you just um, go in the search box and type my TTC story in the search box on my channel, you will find it. I might put a link down at the bottom so you guys can see it. Um, so yes, I think that's about it, really. If you guys have any suggestions or comments or if this has happened to you guys, just let me know. Uh, hoping this is not a permanent thing. Um, I'll update you guys if I do get my period um, this week, which this is the week that I got it last month. I got it a week early, hoping that, you know, it will um, come when it's supposed to on the green pills and not when it's not supposed to. So, anyways, uh, thanks for watching and leave your comments below.